Hello, Internet. The name of the day is Archibald. You can also call me Nate. You can call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. And welcome back once again to Monster Train The Last Divinity. Just came off of a really tough loss. Basically just, just being stupid. It was easily winnable. And uh, just didn't pay attention to the boss. So, you know, that's on me. Can't blame anybody else. We're going to try to be more focused here. We're taking preloaded um, Shard Tail Queen, Melting Remnant... And we continue with the one build to rule them all. We are almost perfect. Had to restart on uh, Arcane Focus one time, but then I did repeat the run and was able to do it without taking any restarts. And we'll just see how it goes here. So we have interesting hidden passages, tomb explosives, impressives. Hidden passages are not great with Shard Tail Queen because you typically want to play things all together, but there could be a, a way to do this. Preloaded is certainly rough. Depending on how it goes. Uh, Tempered Talisman has zero value, except for with Impressive. That's not really value. I guess Golden Vault. Sure. Uh, definitely take Imparade. And we will with Imparade. With Imparade, can we. With the Entombed Explosives and the Reform, I think we're okay. Oh, that's interesting. I think Exploding Candle makes the most sense. This is now. All of our Reformed units now kill Backliners, which is really solid. I'm going all in. Let's do it. Let's not mess around. Plus, we need as many unit options as we can get, because they're going to be pre upgraded. I'm going to sneeze again. Hold on. I feel it. It's right there. It's not coming now. Once I start talking about it, my nose is like, no, no, not coming. All right, we'll pull you up here. Toss you both down here. We're not going to give him any damage shields. not going to also do any damage. But it's fine. We do want things to die so that we can uh, reform them. Um, I think we do like you, pop, and we can play this here. Do we want to? I don't really think we do. Okay. So this is interesting. Uh, Entombed Explosive has this weird interaction. Where it doesn't work. <laughs> um, let's block with you. And then I'm just thinking like... We can get rid of the uh, damage shield. And play you down here. And then we just chill. Okay, so we want to bring back a bunch of strong imps. This guy's pretty good in the front. Him plus imp. You know what you do? Hmm, maybe you don't. You can play a second entombed explosive here. I think there's no way that this group gets the kill. But you can play this guy to block both of the hits. And then you can get this guy who will actually kill the front. Oh my gosh! Burnout! Crushing. I totally forgot about Exploding Candle. Exploding Candle coming in super clutch. If we get a single Entombed Explosive, we just win right now. Easy. Anyway, that was fun. So we did it. We made it work. That is an endless welder helper. A quick fledgling in. I think the endless welder helper is probably the play. And then what we can do is get impressive and then just get uh, fledgling imps. 
This would be a molten encasement with strength stone. Um, I think we don't want any of this. Um. Wow, what a terrible array of units. Yeah, we're not going to take any of this. We will go right path. Well, does it even matter? There's no there's no unit upgrades available. Then I'd rather just make my spells better. I guess I could upgrade the existing like I could get an endless on one of them, but I feel like that's not like super critical. A multi-striking big sludge, you say? I think we take that. I can't stick endless armor. They only have one upgrade. So they they everything only has one upgrade slot. And that's it. Would I would love it. It would be fantastic if I could. But it's it's not allowed. Um I don't mind making you free and Oh wait, hold over. There we go. Look at this. Oh I can't I didn't put hold over on it. I'm a fool. I'm an absolute fool. <laughs> I'm literally talking about how everything has one slot. And I don't put holdover on the one spell that would actually be like legitimately good with holdover. Because uh, then we could just kill the imp every time with impressive. I guess it's fine. It's fine. We can thin the deck out. This is like a good deck to just go super thin on. I think we'll just take that as it is. Um... I do like doubling up on the uh, Entombed Explosives for a super explosive in one bite. And I don't think we want Intrinsic for now. We're going to chill. And I think the idea is Thin Deck. Thin Deck, Win Deck. Should be okay. We put any Chump Blocker... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can just... Just thinking. Queen, Impling, Big Sludge. You know what? We just do Impling, Big Sludge. And the Queen is going to die. Queen, Impling, Big Sludge, Ascend. Queen. Big Sludge. Impling. Ascend. The queen was the queen is going to die. The queen is going to die. This is a this is a fact. Um, however, you play this. Kills two. And then you bring back an imp. And now everything dies because of the exploding candle, which is awesome. You take uh, 50 gold and damage. Then you bring back something. I really will, I really like this big slut there, the entombed explosive up here. Together with the Welder Helper? Oh no, we don't want that. Yeah, we chill. Really would like that uh, back. To so play you. Impressive. Train Steward. Which reduces the damage a little bit. We can Hidden Passage this guy out of the mix. And we just gotta hit him like twice. I feel like that's a reasonable ask. Okay, or we just play this. Play the Shard Tail Queen. Play this guy as well. And I think we just kill. Well, a single hit from our uh, from our big sludge just destroys his world. Also, we can do that. Also, we can do that. Get wrecked. Cool. So we got there. We did take a little bit of pyre damage for that. A double stacked fortify is actually legit. 
because we don't have any way to increase HPs on our um, currently we have no way to increase HP on our uh, big sludge okay so we're gonna go right path we're gonna hope for something that we can merge onto these are not the units I was looking for An Alpha Fiend would be sick. Do we go two floors? This is a two floor build. I feel like we can't. I think we need I think we need more than, than what this offers. We're gonna dupe. What if we dupe um, the welder helper and put it on itself? It only dies with impressive. But it is like really good, really good sustain. We don't have to do the merge right away either. Well, I guess we kind of do. No, we have two. We have two upcoming. So let's let's chill. Let's chill for a minute. This is also pretty good. We could just put this onto our guy, but. I think we do this. I think we just give him extra HP, base HP. And we don't need to merge anything yet. We're good for now. Yeah, 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 we're good. So we, we keep rolling. We now have two of those armor imps. Um, we're gonna eventually merge them to create one super imp. And what we can do is we can go you you and then just give you armor and i i don't really care too much if the queen dies i mean i guess we can play both of these out just give him lots of armor we can also still play implings i i kind of like him to kill things though so we're not going to play them Okay, well that's fair. Um, oh, these guys are dying. Ah, oh, that's amazing. So go bop and bop. They are immediately dying, which is a wee bit annoying. I could put the queen up. Is there any value in putting the queen up? I think the queen can die. Queen can die. This is absolutely acceptable. Okay. So I'm a big fan then of. Let me think. Because I really want to get through. If I put the queen up front, everybody dies. Because the queen burns out and kills everybody. And then we do something very silly, which is, uh, how much damage are you doing? You're doing 10. Um, we're going to put a train steward, and then we're going to make it thick. Okay. And really, any unit we get back now is going to be solid. I also don't hate that we have this option available to us. This just blocks all the damage. I can also do this now. Get this guy out as well. Play you out here. And this is looking very solid. We have 124 damage. And we have like a lot of armor on this guy. He's, he's no slouch. Can play you. Uh, we can play you. This is fantastic. We can do this. Into this. Get wrecked. And we can play you as well. Good stuff. 
Devastating loss. Really good. And the thing is, like... Impolate. Ooh. Dark Deal, though, is also very good. Uh, I think we skip. Impolate would be a lot of damage, and it would slowly increase over time. But I think it's still not what exactly we... Horned Warrior. Horned Warrior is very scary because we have to rely entirely on armor. No, we can't do that. I would love to, but we just can't. We could put the big sludge onto the Horned Warrior, but then we're like, we already have... We could go big sludge, Horned Warrior... Big Sludge, Horn Warrior, Imp on one floor. Big Sludge, Horn Warrior, Imp. Queen, other crap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the play. And we increase capacity. And now we just need, we, we just need something to merge. We just need something to merge onto um, the big sludge. We won't merge anything onto the Horn Warrior. Lady of the House is not great. I think just a Wickless Tycoon is fine. We're going to sack it for now. Start eating stewards. I think the merge of the... Um, and then the, the Horn Warrior just grows is the idea. And we're going to go two extra capacity, I think. Which is nuts, but that's how we're going to roll this. Rage is better. Down with that. And we're going to go in Parade 2. We might even go in Parade 3. Like, oh, whoop. what did we miss? Oh, yeah, that's right. Anything here we want? Oh, there's a multi-strike. <laughs> multi-strike and tombed explosive. Um... <laughs> Endless uh, Tomb Explosive is not bad. It's a very, very good Tomb Explosive. We can put it in front of the Queen and just blast fools. Okay, this is not worth it. Multi-Strike is very scary. We don't have, like, insane amounts of sustain right now. Um, okay. So you're coming out. You're going in. We're going to give you Fortify. We're going to hope. Okay. You play... You play your big sludge. Up here. You kill nobody. Then you play you. And you play you. It's a little bit better. Okay. We, we take some we take some uh, damage right into the money purse. We're gonna go you blast you. What do we have to bring back? Both better imps. Yeah. It's good stuff. Extra rage. Thank you. Come again. And I'm going to bring some dudes back. I think we definitely want so I'm just thinking like though, like this might just be better. Block all the hits, still get all the kills. This guy gets thicker. Can play you. Can play you. Can also play you. And we just destroy the whole floor. Now we just want now we want armor. Okay, we get armor. I think on the rage side, this is actually like looking pretty good. Let me just toss it right here. Watch this. Boom. We kill. <laughs> okay, two floors looking pretty solid. Two floors looking pretty solid. Hold over. Okay. 
We got something. We got something here. That armor imp is gonna just go buck wild. What? Extra unit upgrade slot. Well, it's not great for the big sludge, but that means that the Horn Warrior has some flexibility now. Um, I guess we make hidden passages zero. I'm not really certain what the, what the value is there, to be honest, but that's fine. Let's now merge our Witless Tycoon onto the big sludge. And then we're going to mix armor and armor imp. Armor imp, armor imp. And then I think we're in a good spot. I don't think we need days, to be honest. Like, it's okay. It's okay, but I just don't think we need it. I think where the armor imps should be valuable enough. This guy's got three hits. This guy's got, like, six hits. So we have time to get to our armor imps, especially if we can thin the deck out a lot. Um, do we need money? And which path are we going to go down? I think we're going to go right path. Right path, left path to get a second important work. So right path, left path, right path, I think is the play here. Ooh. This could be our demise. Six damage is a lot of extra damage. Okay, so we can go... Does the Welder Helper absorb all the hits? Boom, boom. No, we'd have to put a Train Steward out too. So what you do is you go, you go queen, train steward, welder helper, everybody's dying. I don't know how I feel about this. It seems bad. It seems bad. At the same time. Okay, um, I mean, you've got to get played. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play you. We're going to import and work. We're not going to play you again. This way we don't get Ember Drain, and we still have the Imp. Okay, so. You play him. You import and work. You play him. You put... We're going to take a whole freaking lot of damage to our fire. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Okay, we're going to take a whole lot of uh, money damage to the fire. So you play, you go, you. 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 Good stuff. Okay. How are we doing? We're killing most everything, which is pretty sick. Go you. Dead. And then I think we play you here, which does now kill everything. Um, we play... I think we could hidden passage that and just play you out here. Okay. So we have a lot of uh, a lot of armor on this guy. We're going to get more armor on you. We don't have the most damage on the horned warrior. This is a little bit of a problem. However, we can play you out. We can play important work. Get you rolling here. Give you more armor. Play this out here. I mean, the guy's doing 400 damage a hit. Like, what else could you ask for? Big train steward. Just for the lulls, I guess. And roll there. And we should be good. He's only doing 14 damage. Yeah, we're crushing. We can even do this and play this here. Got him. 
So apart from taking some some damage right in the wallet, this is actually feeling pretty good. And we made up a lot of it because of the uh, extinguish or the harvest trigger from the uh, harvest tycoon. Uh, imp in a box this is very interesting. Branding right is not so great. Can we afford an imp in a box here? Um, it's tough. It's tough. It's a tough call. It's pretty good. I guess we can afford it. Because if like we ever got a transcend imp, like that would be sick. Uh, not gonna take any of this. This is looking pretty solid. So we're gonna go right path because like removal is king right now. We just gotta thin the deck out because we're not gonna be taking any more units. Oh, sorry, we're not gonna be taking much, many more spells or stuff. Um, a draw of, oh my gosh. Don't even think about it, just do it. Um, yeah, wow, okay, that was sick. Then we're gonna go left path because what we want to do is remove cards. And I don't know what we, oh, we dupe the, that's right, we dupe the important work just to get more value out of our really solid imps. Because damage is not going to be a problem. We should have enough damage through the Rage Imps, plus the four strikes on the floor. Potentially five if we can get another Horned Warrior rolling. Um, okay, so what are you doing? You're incanting. So I think the way you want to play this is you play your Queen. You go bop. You go bop. And then you play him. He's going to absorb all the damage. Keeping them nice and frosty. And now we can start getting imps. This is what we need. So, you play your big dude. You play the rage imp in the front. And very happy about all this. It's all really great. Okay. You play your rage imp. You play your primitive mold. Then you play your important work. And you go. Fledgling in in the front. To block most of the damage. This is already a lot of damage. Uh. Welder Helper. Entombed Explosive. Or Welder Helper again. Entombed Explosive. Devastating. And they can just rage grow through all these uh, imps dying over and over. Okay. You play a Welder Helper. Important work. You play a fledgling in. He only blocks five damage. This guy blocks all the hits. Just rock him in the front. Um, play armor. You. Fledgling in. We are going to get two waves of contrition, which is really annoying when we have like no draw. But it's fine. That's life. Play you there. Play you there. Play you here. Oh, wait, no. Just get rid of these. And we don't get to play our uh, thing again, but I think it's fine. This is all good. Just build up. Fantastic stuff. We can even bring this guy up if we want. But we don't need to. Eh, might as well.
I don't know that we'll get a bottom floor kill. This could be really good. Pyre Chomper. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Play you. And... Go Rage. Oh, awesome. Just get rid of him. That works. Another Fledgling in. A bop. Oh, dang. We could have played that up top. It would have been much better. Anyway, are we killing down here on the bottom floor? We're actually killing. This is insane. Two floor setup. Now, this is going to be much dicier with Divinity, but so far, this is like. This is not bad. So, we have a dilemma. The two best possible additions we could add to our deck are now here. And we have to make a choice. Transcend Imp is certainly more... I would say more reliable. But Last Stand is like, get your flying kills in. Last Stand is huge for flying kills. And it's permafrosted, so we can hold on to it until an opportune moment. This is a hard one. This is hard. I think I'm going to take Last Stand. That might be very controversial, but I think that uh, I think Last Stand is the play here. We're going Light of the Seraph. We want to be able to fit both a Rage Imp and an Armor Imp every single turn on the top floor. Um, I think more health. Last Stand doesn't make it harder. Last Stand gets us flying kills. Like once we get enough rage, just a single Last Stand wins. Like it doesn't it it doesn't matter after that point. Um, we are gonna go left path. Let's get rid of these uh, crappy imps. Whole or uh, taking up all of our slots. We definitely, 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 definitely want to merge the Welder Helpers. This puts the Welder Helpers into an insane position of value where they grant 40 armor to the front unit and 20 armor to the backliner, which is just nuts, especially when you consider that we're going to have two important works. Um, and we go all in on Imp Parade. Like, this is going to be Imp City. Imp City. And we have a lot of, like, imp-killing things, which is really, really good. Um, we're going to do it. I believe. This is a believing-only game here. We're going to go... Queen? Double molting to kill the backliner into an explosive horn, war horn warrior. Look at that. First turn, we're like 90% of the way there. We're going to get our double imps now. And the way you play this is you go, you, you pop this in. You play this imp, thereby having your queen live. And I tell you what, I know that like, it's really good to play the imp up here. I actually think you play the imp down here and it looks a little something like this. You play your entombed explosive, you play your fledgling imp. Massive damage on the gilded wing. 
We don't get the collector, but I'm, I still feel really confident in this. We're going to go you and you. Now what would be really great, uh, Entombed Explosive just destroys. So we could play you up top. This is also valid. We have to make a decision here. Do we go for any of these imps? Um, so playing this imp up front. You kill him, you hit the back, and you get some rage. This is 100% going here. And now we have to make a choice. Do we risk it? The imps we could get would be armor imp. Trash. Armor imp would be dev. Actually, armor imp wouldn't be devastating, but it would be very annoying. Because it means that this guy dies from burnout rather than from. Actually, no, he would get die from getting hit. No, actually, that might still be okay. It would be another death, giving him another. 10 damage and no 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 excuse me i've got like hiccups or something we're just gonna do this keep it safe keep it simple kill the backliner very soft okay queen still queen still like has armor left like we can't hope for anything better important work block I think what you do here is just move this guy up. Then we have less strikes. Um, you play here. You play here to block another hit. And we can just impress with you. Why not? And we're chilling. Okay. There's our end. Uh, we, do we still have, we still have the endless end? Welder helper, you're killing me. Um, you gotta get armor. You gotta get more armor. You get armor. Bring back an imp. This is absolutely perfect. We block a hit, we get rage. I mean, look at these guys. They are just happy clams. We're gonna play you down here. Should have maybe considered a different play order there, but it's fine. There is a greater than zero chance that we can actually, hold on. I believe we can get the kill on the bottom floor. And the way you do it is you stack up, you get something that's going to kill the, you need a couple things that are going to kill the backliner. We have no burnout right now. So you really just need, like, Okay, well, I mean, those are some imps. We got close. I think you play double rage. Blocking most of the damage. And you just play this guy out here for fun. And then you last stand. Ah. For 800 damage. I 
I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, resin removal. Unnecessary. And extremely clunky to play. Removal is absolutely critical here. Uh, we're at the shard count we want, so we will not be buying a, an upgrade there. We want to yeet more Queen's Implings. I think we want to yeet most of the primitive molds as well, but although we do want... Okay, I mean... We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, burnout 1 would just be so amazing. What is happening? <laughs> uh, lost luggage? Yes, thank you. Uh, come again. Conserve energy between rounds. Oh, you say melt uh, tombs now get health and the burnout? Sure. Yeah, we take that. And then we're going to use the rest of our money to buy or to remove units. So we want to eat the Queen's Impling. We want to eat a hidden passage. And. Let me think. I think we just go. I think we just roll. We roll with this. We have 20 cards. And as long as we important work, um, non-endless imps, we'll still burn through the deck pretty quickly. So I think what you do is you start with your shark tail queen on the bottom. She's gonna she's gonna go there. She's gonna go here basically no matter what. Um, we can imp in a box, we can armor, like, we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to live. Horn Warrior, probably going up top, but let's see what we end up with. So armor, very solid. We could block with a Rage Imp up top. I think I just want to get the Rage Imp out here. And... I'm thinking, like, just blast ya. So we can do this. Okay. Uh, we take 30 damage if we do that. Okay, so we're gonna play. We gotta play these both up here, though. This is this is mandatory. You're going up front. You go in the back. Everybody's happy. Um, the question is, do we blast this guy? And I think the answer is no. Okay, one damage shield gone. Big boy coming in the house. So we're good. We got there. We'll get enough rage literally from this guy alone, dying over and over again to win the run. Um, but, you know, just, just to make it sportsmanlike, I guess we can play other imps other places. Also, Primitive Mold gives us even more armor. I love that this guy burns out. Like, I can't tell you how cool that is. Uh, so the one I'm thinking is, let's play you up here now. We got to get some rage on the Horn Warrior, and I'm like, play this guy in the front, right? He can absorb all the hits and just destroy everything. Look at that. What an absolute boss. Okay. This is very simple. You play an amazing welder helper. Important work this. Then you play a fledgling imp. To block the hit. Important weapon again. Absolutely hilarious. Do that. You can play you down here. You can primitive mold anywhere you like. 
Also a big fan of this. Which just destroys the floor. Uh, hilarious. Just crazy. Um, you know what? Get up here. Just have fun. Okay. Get wrecked. So. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. So you play your tuned explosive. Um, I kind of feel like you just go all in on rage now on that bottom. Part of me is like it'd be really funny to try to get a kill with the queen. Which we could, we could do something like, well we need a lot more rage. This is the, this is the point. A lot more rage. No, we're just going to try to get as many rage imps up there as we can. Interesting. Okay. That's like borderline kill range. If we can get him up, if we can get Seraph up there, that I think that's kill range. That's 900 damage. Oh, it's close. We just need a little bit more. Come up top. Okay. You play your fledgling imp. What do we get? Another welder helper. Okay. Um. You play your tomb. I think you get rid of this one. To play you. You hit him. You play you. you important work. And play you. And you play you. So it wasn't a kill yet, but if we get an ascend, if we get an ascend, we can kill him. I think it's too hard to kill on the bottom. We have one more turn though. There's one more turn left. Uh, in that case, let's try to kill as much as we can here. Try to keep this to like one hit. So play you. This will kill the backliners. Let me play you. There. That's one ascend. We, we don't have another one. And we can play you here as well. And kill the backliner. Okay, here's hoping. Come to the top. Come to the top. Come to the top. Come to the top. Come to the all the way, all the way up. All the way. Ah! Is there a chance? Do we have it? Oh, we have fortify. We'd have to get through so many cards. Yeah, it's not possible. Dang it! I thought we could get the flying kill. Anyway, play you out. Everybody dies. It's good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna play you. Mm -hmm. And likelihood of killing on the bottom floor fairly low. But we could we could try. So the way you would have to do that is you'd get rid of some of these weaker imps. You'd have to get some more rage imps. I mean these are rage imps. These are these are actual rage imps. You play your entombed explosive. You play rage imp. That has burnout. I think you get rid of this guy. You also get rid of this guy. 
Let me give you... <coughs> Sorry. The sneezed came. Came on fast. Barely caught it. Feel a lot better now, though. Alright, um... How do we want to play you? Uh... Probably in the back. We're doing 1,000 damage. What if... What if we move you up? 1,300? And what if we give you an extra armor? 1,360. No, that doesn't really make a difference. But we're very close. I think... Um, our Entombed Explosive, plus like anything else, gets the kill. Okay, so play you. There we go. I think we got it. Get wrecked. So at least we got it before the actual kill floor. Divinity should be a kill though. We have such good wave clear with all these burnout units. And we have so much, um, like, chump block power here. Like, there shouldn't be an issue with keeping the queen alive. And also being able to clear a lot of the units before they ever make it to the top. And then we just rage, like, rage, 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 rage. Occasionally playing a welder helper up there just for good measure. So we have the whole squad. We can go... Clean. Welder Helper. We are not going to play Important Work. And then you play out your, your squad up top. Okay. Absolutely acceptable start. Okay. I'm going to start with an Imp in a Box. Not bad. We can play you. We can play you. Is this good here? It would give them damage shield, which is not particularly great. I think I want to play at least once. And that may be all we need. And then we just dump fledgling imps up here until the end of time. So then let's see about this. We play you. Play the tomb. Welder helper here. You know what? We can go one more. Like, we might as well just make it really difficult for them to die. Then play you here. Um, I don't mind playing one more like this. It's going to die anyway. Play you up here as well. It's looking very solid. Okay. We get a, like, we cleared almost everything, which is kind of nuts. Play this. We really like our fledgling end. We didn't get it. Um, and now I want to kind of, I want to go you into you. I'm going to play this one first. Let me think. Play you. Play this. Bring you up. Play you. Play you. Get this guy out. Bring something back. Fledgling Imp. That's fantastic. So Fledgling Imp will kill the backliners. <clears throat> Just like that. And that. Okay. 550 right now. So, you 
go one, two, three, four. Last stand would be a lot of damage already. I think I would like one more imp if possible. So that's interesting. This is a lot more value actually. It's actually less value. Uh, can we, I think we'd still do this now. 1400 damage. We should be able to get there um, still. There we go. Well, they're uh, molting him. Do that. And I think I like bringing up the boss because it doesn't lower the damage that much, but it allows us to free shot directly onto Divinity next turn with all of our damage. And I think that that's going to be enough to kill him. Yep. It was enough. For you. For you. For you. For you. You. Kill. You. Kill. And... Final Welder Helper. Get wrecked. Awesome. That is challenge number nine. Done. So if you're watching on YouTube, name of the day has been Archibald. You can also call me Nate. You can call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Hope you guys enjoyed this clean win. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.